All right, let's just start this video. Seems like the Washington football team keeps getting sicker and sicker. <laughs> we hear of more cases uh, of COVID found with the Washington football team. Uh, incidentally, uh, the other day, uh, there was uh, the first case of, uh, was it the Omicron uh, variant of COVID uh, found in what they called the Tier 3 em employer. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I think that that is basically a player who, or not player, an employee of the franchise that isn't directly associated with the football team. But basically, they were found positive. And um, now that there's been basically a breakout um, of COVID amongst the uh, players of the Washington football team, the organization is going through some very um, extreme measures in order to try to isolate this this breakout before it gets even worse because right now it is definitely affecting our football team um, and well case be known Kendall Fuller and Tim Settle both players that we desperately need they are joining the Washington football team's growing COVID-19 list <clears throat> ahead of the key game versus Philadelphia Eagles so says John Kim and you know, they're joining, what was it, eight other players uh, who tested positive for the uh, COVID-19 virus. Um, of course, you know, the Washington football team placed John Allen on the list on Monday. Um, it, of course, it also has defensive ends Montez Sweat, James Smith-Williams, and Casey Tuhill on the list. Hopefully those guys will come off of that list because I, I believe their 10 days will be up prior to the game on Sunday. That is my hope. Uh, for John Allen, he was um, he was actually vaccinated. Now there was some talk amongst uh, uh, fans on Twitter that he was not. That's not true. John Allen was vaccinated, um, and just hey, goes to show you. Well, I'm not going to get into all of that because um, I don't want to get dinged. But just basically. Um, John Allen was vaccinated. He got tested for uh, positive for COVID. My hope, though, is is that they will continue to do testing, and hopefully he'll have uh, some negative tests before Sunday. I think um, he has to have two negative tests, I want to say 48 hours prior to the game, um, which means that he would probably, well, he would definitely have to have a negative test you know, today or tomorrow, and then a negative test on Friday in order to be cleared to play. I'm still holding out hope. I mean, uh, from what I hear, he he isn't experiencing any symptoms. He just got tested positive. And that seems like that's what's happening with uh, a lot of vaccinated folks who wind up getting tested positive for COVID. But having said all that, uh, yeah, it's an ever-growing list. We are signing players off of the streets um, we're bringing in Orchard, I believe it is, at defensive end because, quite frankly, we are so thin at defensive end. I know that, uh, wow, I just, uh, <laughs> I just heard a flying cat go by. Um, I know that uh, a lot of fans are, are thinking, are we going to have to forfeit? <laughs> Let, let's pump the brakes, okay? If the Denver Broncos didn't forfeit their game last year without having – a quarterback on the team we're not going to forfeit we're, we're going to play whoever we can play and then that's going to be it so um, it's a big game though it's a key game <laughs> you know this is going to show you the fortitude of this football team when you have Ron Rivera coaching this team I mean keep in mind yes they're six and seven right now but with all that's been thrown their way could be a lot worse. A lot of other coaches probably would have already kind of folded. Uh, Ron Rivera is still bringing this team through, and if he can pull out a victory against the Eagles on Sunday with all of this COVID issues, 
that's going to be huge because, you, yes, you're going to have to go back and face the Cowboys again the next week, but you're going to be healthier. You're going to have a lot of guys back. So um, just have to see what happens. I mean, you know, this team doesn't have um, a give up in their nature, it seems like. They keep fighting. So that's that's all we can ask for at this point. So anyway, yeah, um, there you go. We keep getting kicked in the in the behind um, with COVID and with players getting injured and ACL tears and hip tears or hip fractures and all this stuff. And yeah, what can I say? Welcome to the to the Washington Football Team. 